Mortgage rates are up, so should you sell your house now or should you wait? The feds raise the interest rates. How will this affect your home values? As predicted, the feds raised interest rates a quarter percent just a week ago. And so we're going to discuss what this means to the value of your house if you wait to sell your house and afraid you are about to miss out on the seller's market. I'm Sfir Bapolevsky with Supreme Home Sales. As a local realtor and resident here on Staten Island, I love helping you navigate the home selling process. And we are starting right now. The inflation is totally out of control all around. Housing, energy, food, services, it rapidly grew astronomically in a very short time. We didn't have any time to get used to it. The Fed's res rates to try and catch up to inflation so much as they can for the time being. And they're telling us they are planning to raise interest rates six additional times this year alone. When the Fed raised the interest rates, it directly impacts the mortgage interest rates over time and impacts mortgage interest rates that you and I pay overall. I last saw rates at approximately 4.25 to 4.5%, but let's talk about how the rise of these mortgage interest rates will impact the values of your house if you decide to sell now before it's too late or why wait to sell in the first place. If you're going to sell now, you're probably still going to be able to ride this market. And by now, I mean the selling your house during the spring and the summertime. During this time, a lot more buyers are purchasing because they want to move by September, just in time for the beginning of the new school year. You might even see a bit more inventory of homes for sale some home sellers feel this is your last chance to get a high price because the threat of higher interest rates will affect the housing values. At some point, prices may very well go down if the demand will drop as interest rates go higher and you will have more buyers who've been on the fence and haven't bought a house yet suddenly decide to buy a house now at the 4% interest rate before these rates climb much higher. I don't necessarily see any significant risk in home values dropping for the spring and the summer real estate season. There's a good reason to believe that you won't have as many multiple offers on your house like we saw during the same time last year. The reason you will want to sell your house now is to sell at the highest possible price and generate a large amount of multiple offers. The rise of the interest rates will not make a real dent immediately, but I think we will begin noticing and feel the effect sometime around six months or so from now. Let's fast forward to September, which is the fall real estate market. Generally, less people move around less people buy or sell homes during the last quarter of the calendar year and the holidays are around the corner and the winter is coming the demand for homes will drop in comparison to the spring summertime and it's a real possibility that by fall the feds will increase interest rates to well into the fives and if we look at the chart here this chart is an example of how the monthly payment principal and interest only increases as the interest rates increase by just a quarter of a point but if you see the difference between the four percent and five percent the total difference in the monthly payment reaches just about three hundred dollars a month at what interest rate prices will begin to drop who knows right and no one really knows how high the interest rates will have to be to make enough impact to cause housing prices to go down. I did a video about the end of the housing boom earlier that you can watch after this video. 
truthfully we don't really know because we can't know for certain how much of the housing demand will drop it will drop some for sure because there will be buyers out there that will no longer be able to afford to buy a house at all because of that but the real question remains is will demand for housing and affordability drop below the inventory of available houses on the market to get home values to drop for real is to get to a point where we have more homes on the market than buyers that are willing or wanting to buy them the simple supply and demand rule of economics but first we have to get to a time where the supply and demand evens out as of right now there's a real shortage of homes for sale and a real high desire and demand of homes buyers wanting to buy buyers wanting to buy your house the unemployment rate is so low which means people have jobs so unemployment risks are not in the near future horizon at all i want you to watch other videos i have we are in vulnerable times we are in uncertain times in the months ahead and you want to know about your local real estate market so please hit the subscribe button like this video click on the notification bell as new videos about this insane real estate market i post for you weekly thank you so much for watching and i will see you on the next video